Welcome to today's video. Previously on Gus the Struggle Boys. this video I'm going to show you how we mount this water inlet. <laughs> Let's get to it. Worst intro ever. Hold up. So you saw how we got these ridiculous things here. We have another one just like it that we're putting underneath that's going to be our gray water and this will be our fresh water that will sit underneath our bed. And today we're going to try to figure out kind of where it's gonna go under the bed so we can figure out where to install or mount the water inlet. And like you said, we're just mounting it today. We're not hooking anything up because we're trying to install as many things in the walls that we can so that we can do spray foam and not have to cut out any spray foam or waste it and we can just spray around or over stuff, which includes this water inlet. But we need to know where this sucker's gonna go in order to know where that's gonna go. So now we're going to unbox this box that has a box in it. Yeah. we're going to put it over here, turn along this way, and then the rest of this will be storage or anything else that we need. So most of our connectors or plumbing and everything is going to go right here in this little section. So that has us ending up installing the water inlet right here on this sidewall. So this is the tank up close. This is where the water inlet will go, the uh, gravity water fill will go. This little connector right here is where the airflow is. It has a hose that attaches to your water inlet section as well. So as the water's going in, the air has somewhere to leave. So your tank doesn't expand and pop pretty much. This one down here is where our actual water is gonna come out and we will either connect it with uh, the tubing or some sort of hose. This we will probably have a connector that exits out this way and goes out the back so we can empty the tank whenever we need to. So this is the one that we decided to get and the water tanks and this will all be linked below. And the cool thing about this one is that 
it has this piece of cardboard on the back that went over it. So it already has a built-in uh, outline for you to cut the hole. So this is the perfect size hole for you to cut on the outside, which is pretty cool. So it comes with a few other things, which we probably won't need until we get to the actual plumbing part. But this is what the inside looks like. It has a lock and everything. It comes with a set of keys. So you have your uh, gravity water and your city water over here. Have your two inlets, and then this is the little air part that I was talking to you about that lets the air out so your tank doesn't expand. So you just hook something up to that, and the air will exit while the water goes in. So it's pretty simple. We have our butyl tape, we have our bolts and nuts and everything that we need to install it. We have our outline of our size hole to cut. Now we just have to pick out the exact spot. So after feeling around with where the rivets are and the rib is on the inside, we use the outline that it came with and this is where we decided it's gonna go. So, materials you're gonna need for this project is gonna be your template, some tape to tap up your template, a pen to draw your template, a drill with, for us, a 3 8 bit because that's how big the jigsaw blade is going to be, at least 3 8 so we can put the bit into the hole, the drill into the hole, the actual mount itself with some butyl tape, and some screws. For us, we're gonna modify it a little bit, adding bolts to make sure that it's nice and secure and nobody can just come and pry it off and take it out. So, that's it. Do that, have that, and you'll be successful in anything and everything you ever wanted to do. If everything and anything you wanna do is mount your water inlet. So now that you have cut your hole and made sure that your inlet fits, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and take this off. We're gonna go ahead and clean around the area. Once we clean around the area, we'll go ahead and install some butyl tape, drill some holes, and mount it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill a hole for the bolts. We're using bolts and nylon lock nuts uh, because we just want them to be as secure as possible. We're gonna use four of those and then we'll use the four left um, that came with the actual system. So that's what we're doing now. things of butyl tape that it came with and we have some extra but you might as well use what it comes with yeah
gonna do just to take the extra precaution is we're gonna spray some of this flex seal on the bolts and the screws that's holding it in around the outside. So I'm taping it over because this flex seal makes a huge mess and it goes everywhere. So I'm doing a very terrible job taping over this. No, babe, it's, it's, it's good. I forgot what he was trying to, why he says it. And this is how you mount your water inlets. One quick tip that I do want to point out to you guys, whenever you guys are screwing this into the bus, whether you use screws or bolts, make sure that you don't over tighten this because at the end of the day, this is a plastic piece. And if you put too much pressure on it, it could crack it or bend it and it could, uh, physically wear down over time faster than it would originally uh, wear down. But this is our water inlet. We can lock it. It should be fine. It's watertight because we put the beetle tape on it. Other than that, we don't really have much for you today. So that's how you mount your water inlet. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed the video, found it entertaining or educational. This is how we installed our water inlets. Like we said that we didn't hook anything up, we just installed it. But make sure you do your research and know about how things do hook up so you will put it in the correct place. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and go comment down below what you liked or what you didn't like about it. If you have any tips for us, also leave them out down in the comments. If you are subscribed, thank you so much, and we hope that you keep enjoying these videos. And if you're not, and you did enjoy the video, go ahead and subscribe. And if you didn't, you might like another one in the future. So you never know. subscribe and hit that little bell so you can find out. And as always, don't forget to enjoy life. Please stay positive. <laughs> and keep going places. Suck us! Leave me hanging like that. Get out of the frame. I'll get out of the frame. How are we doing, thumbnail?